good morning everybody i haven't posted for a minute just wanted to get on here and do a quick video this is in regards to gut health i saw a video on i believe it was facebook by a dr stephen gundry and he was talking about gut health and how we need a prebiotic to go with our probiotic and it's for gut health i was diagnosed when i was in my early 20s as having irritable bowel syndrome ibs and they just told me to go to the store get some fiber it'll be okay so they didn't explain the benefits of fiber I knew the different fiber powders that you could use, I guess, helped you go to the bathroom or whatever. You always heard the commercials back in the day talking about how chalky everything was. I wasn't trying to have that, wasn't trying to hear it. So I never really went, I went and bought some, but I don't think I ever opened it up and stirred it in something and used it. But seeing Dr. Gundry's video the other day, and I'm like, okay, let me go try it out. So I went and got some of this, the bit of fiber, healthy shape, prebiotic. And I started it on Sunday. And so far, so good. I've been taking it along, let's say with my probiotic and haven't been having issues with going to the bathroom and I think it's really going to help me. I mean, it takes me till I'm 50 to finally, you know, get it. I get it now. And I've been having these issues, like I said, since my early 20s, probably even before that. But I'm now going to start taking care of my gut health and I suggest that you do the same if you have issues with IBS, having bowel movements. That could be a lot of the reason why a lot of us are carrying a bunch of weight is because we're not allowing the digestive waste to go through our system the way it's supposed to. From what I've been reading, the average adult should be having at least three bowel movements a day and definitely back then that wasn't happening if i had oh, what a week that was good for me i used to make fun of folks oh you go to bed both times I, 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 I don't but knowing i should have been doing that so from sunday going forward i'm going to be taking the prebiotic i drank some this morning you put three and a fourth teaspoons in eight ounces of water you stir it up i put it in a bottle of water it was like a half of a bottle of water shook it up real good for about 60 seconds it dissolves in the water it has no taste to it it doesn't change the taste of the water at all it even says you can put it in food so i did that this morning Ate a little breakfast, took my vitamins, my one a day, my vitamin D3, and my probiotic, and I'm good to go. So just like I said, just want to get on here real quick, share a little bit of information that I found out, and I'm going to be keeping track of the movements that are going on, and like I said, that's supposed to be helping with cleaning out your system, cleaning out your intestines, and helping to shed some pounds. So everybody have a good day, peace and blessings, and I'll talk to you soon. And one last thing. Okay, here's a disclaimer. Don't think that you could just go out there, buy this Benefiber, start pooping, and you're gonna start losing a whole bunch of weight, you still have to put in the work, the effort. You have to exercise, you have to eat right, and 
then you'll start seeing the changes. So that's what I'm doing as well. I'm actually exercising, which I already exercise, but since I've incorporated the Benefiber, I'm going to start a little bit more exercising. I'm currently on spring break. So I'm getting it in just to see what happens. I need to get healthier and my gut needs to get healthier. So, I mean, try it out. Try the fiber, try the prebiotic, the probiotic, exercise, and I think the combination of all of that is what's going to work for me. It can work for you as well, but you gotta put in the effort. You just can't sit back and think, oh, if I start doing this, then I'm gonna start losing weight. Effort, everything takes effort. Just go out there, do your best. That's what I'm doing. I had this thing where I wanted to be fit by 50, but there's a whole bunch of different factors. With me having food allergies, IBS, there's a lot of factors that at the time I wasn't connecting the dots. Now I'm connecting the dots. So I'm going to see from starting this past Sunday, how this journey is going to go now since I'm starting to connect the dots. So I will keep you posted on the dot connecting and put some more videos out soon.